I think one of the easiest things for people to feel this day and age, even with this digital medium of the internet and, you know, the connectivity of it all through texts and mobile devices, I think it's, even with this connectivity, I think it's really that much easier for people to feel alone, especially people who are younger. Um, you know, I have a couple of friends on Facebook who uh, shall remain nameless, but I've seen time and time again that they've posted, you know, that they're lonely and uh, they'll never have anybody and these kinds of things. A lot of the same things that I've felt when I was in middle school and going through hell uh, in a very bad school situation and everything like that. And finally, um, you know, I confided in my parents and, and basically threatened suicide before they would finally listen to me. But they finally did open armed. They got me out of the bad school and into a good one. And things improved until, unfortunately, my father passed away. But um, and then it was you know kind of a slippery slope after that. But I mean, you know. One of the things that I think is chiefly important is not giving up on hope and realizing that, you know, you may be one individual, you may feel like you're the loneliest soul in the world, but you're not. You know, all of us, we all go through these things. We all have self-doubts. We all have doubts in others, whether we can trust them, whether we can, you know, be loved by them as much as we'd like to love them. And, um, you know, I think it's even that much harder for people who are, you know, LGBTQ um, where, you know, there is that sort of social stigma. It's something finally processing out of society, but it still has a ways to go, much as the um, sort of religious brainwashing element. You know, they're so fearful that they're getting frozen out of, uh, you know, mankind's mentality, and I can only hope that happens sooner rather than later. But it'll never go away because there are too many, you know, sycophantic fucks out there. And the thing to just always realize, and the thing I always try to put forth whenever I see someone feeling down on their luck and feeling depressed or uncertain or, you know, I, I try as much as I can to reach out and let them know, hey, you know what, I understand. I, I know what you mean. Even to this day, I have moments, you know, um, where you, you feel that. You feel that loneliness. You feel that uncertainty. You feel that um, lack of hope, I guess you could say. And at the end of the day, you know, I look at my sister being in my life. I fought the state of Florida to become her guardian over a decade and a half ago. And we finally won after so many years and uh, didn't let them break our family apart. And that's an accomplishment I'm proud of, as well as, you know, things like just becoming the adult my, my mother told me she was sure I could become before her death. Um, you know, the little joys, being able to watch Star Trek or Doctor Who, hanging out with my sister, who's a full-on geek now. Uh, she wasn't in her earlier years, but she's full-on, you know, adopted a love for Doctor Who and Star Trek, comic book stuff, all these kinds of things. And, you know, I look at my room, I look at my posters, I look at my books, uh, just anything that can give me joy. You know, oh, I'll have a slice of pizza, you know. There are little things, little comforts that no matter how despairing you feel, they can be your saving grace. And I, I just try to remind people of that, you know. Number one, first and foremost, you're not alone in how you feel. Don't don't give in to it. Don't let that be what rules you or what brings you to your own end and everything like that. Just be ready for the next day. Be ready for the hope that is tomorrow. And uh, know you're not alone is what I try to put forth. And I can only hope it helps.